Welcome to the homework for Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 21. Put your name there. Don't forget it. This is going to be, uh, this is going to take some time. These are two-step word problems. They're the more difficult kind, and really this is where your tape diagram drawing skills will really help. So if you've been practicing drawing them in the other homework assignments, leading up to this, then it will, it will, have, it will make a big difference in, in making these easier to understand. And we're using RDW for all of these. These are all word problems. RDW, read, draw, write. These two-step problems. You can't just look at the numbers and underline the numbers and then multiply or divide and then have an answer and write it down. You really have to figure out, because they're really not set up to work that way. You have to read all the words. Tina eats eight crackers for a snack each day at school. So here we have Tina. Eight crackers for each day. On Friday, so we have what? We have what, one, two, three, four, five days. So that's a week, right? On Friday, this is the last day right here. Uh, she drops three of the crackers and eats only five. Write and solve an equation. So we have to write and solve an equation to show the total number of crackers she eats during the week. So we know how many. What do we know? We know uh, we know how many days there are, right? Here we know there's five days. What we don't know is the total number of crackers. So there, that's, we start with what we know and what we don't. So this is what we have to figure out is the total number of crackers. And now she eats, these are eights, right? Eight, 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 eight. But this day is a five. So looking at this, we see we have four eights. So that's four times eight. And then we have to add these five, because right, you can't multiply that because it's not an eight. So we have to add it. 32 plus 5 equals 37. Tina eats 37 crackers. So these should get a little bit trickier as we go. Balio has a reading goal. He checks three boxes of nine books out from the library. After finishing them, he realizes he beat his goal by four books. Label the tape diagrams to find Balio's reading goal. So, three boxes of nine books. Uh, what do we know here? Let's see. This must be the Three, one, two, there's three boxes, so we know there are three boxes. But we don't know how many books yet, because we haven't figured that out. Total books. Right, and we do know that this, each one is nine. It's important to label these things so you can remember what it is you're counting because sometimes when the questions you get follow-up questions you'll see this on the second page you really have to keep track of what it is that you're counting so that's three nines there's everything labeled right there and oh these are books right <clears throat> um, so we have here, this section from here to there, that was his goal, right? And we don't know what his goal is. It doesn't say, question mark. 
goal, we don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out is his reading goal. Uh, but we do know how many total books there are. This is what he read, right? He read a total of, you know, his total books. If we figure this one out, if we figure out the top tape diagram, we know this, we know total books. And we know that this is, we know he has four extra books because it's his goal, right? His goal plus the four extra is the total of what he read. So first we got to figure out what he read. So we figure that out and that's what this is the total total books so what do we have nine times three right or three nines three times nine 27 books now that we know that we know that this is 27 the whole thing is 27, right? The total books. The total number of books is 27. We know that now. And we know that this goal here, from here to there, is 27. But four less than the total would be his goal. Because he read four more, so we have to figure out, to figure out what his goal was, we have to subtract four from the total. That's the four extra that he read. So we got to subtract the four extra ones that he read to figure out what his goal was. 27 minus 4, and that's 23. Billy's goal is to read 23 books. Valio's goal is to read 23 books. <clears throat> Mr. Nguyen plants 24 trees around the neighborhood pond. He plants equal numbers of maple, pine, spruce, and birch trees. So he's planting one, two, three, four different kinds of trees. He waters the spruce and birch trees before it gets dark. How many trees does he still need to, Mr. Nguyen, still need to water? Draw and label a tape diagram. So first, we, let's just figure out how many trees there are first. We have four different kinds of trees, right? Four different kinds of trees. And then we know that there's 24 trees. Right? So we know, here's what we know. So there's 24 trees. And we know that there's four kinds. Four kinds of tree, but we don't know. We haven't figured out this yet. How many there is of each kind of tree. <clears throat> and then we have to figure out, we can label these two, that um, we have, what do we have? Maple, pine, spruce, and birch. So this can be all the maple trees, this can be all the pine trees, this can be the spruce trees, and this can be the birch trees. Uh, so we need uh, spruce. Okay, so we have uh, tw we got to figure out how many of each kind of tree there are. Twenty-four total trees divided by four kinds of trees, six trees of each kind. So we have sixes in here. And now we're going to use the tape diagram, right? So which ones are watered? The spruce and the birch trees are watered. These ones are watered, and these ones he still needs to water. So that's two sixes. Six plus six is twelve. He still needs to water. Trees. Anna buys 24 seeds and three plants three in each pot. 
she has five pots. How many more pots does she need to plant all of her seeds? So, okay. She doesn't have enough pots. So we don't know how many pots there are. Well, she says she has five. Let's see what we know and what we don't know. Uh, we know that there's three in each pot. Three seeds. And we know that she has 24. Right? We know that she has three in each pot. She has 24 seeds. Um, but we don't know how many pots she has, right? She starts out with five. But it seems like she's going to need more. <clears throat> Now, I mean, you could do this with division right here to see how many pots we're going to need. We don't know how many pots. She has five, but she's going to need more. We need to figure out how many more. So we can do 24 and divide by 3, which equals 8. Or you could, I mean, if, if you don't want to use the just division equations like that, you could just you could still use just draw and count. It still works. You could draw the seeds. Three seeds there. Um, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, uh, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. And then now you can just count the pots. And you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pots. And you could figure it out that way. But she only she already has five pots, right? So these are the ones that she has. H once she has these are the ones she needs three more. You could just you could say that you know she has you could write this subtraction down and say she has eight she she needs eight she already has five she needs three more you could write that down too but I think this picture shows it.